ready to roll, ready to roll. Hey guys, what's up, it's Bella. Welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're brand new. In today's video, I'm going to be filming on the new Louis Vuitton Bubblegram collection. I'm gonna be giving you guys the full rundown on the bags in this collection, the stories behind it, and kind of my personal overall thoughts on if this collection is worth it or not. As always, I do a ton of videos of designer luxury things on my channel, so if you guys are interested in any of those things, I'd love for you to subscribe and stick around. I post every Sunday, Tuesday, and Friday, so tons of good content on the way, always. I'm also gonna link down below my two previous huge Louis Vuitton hauls. I also did a shop with me with my mom, and I just did a what's in my purse and a few other unboxings of Louis Vuitton, so if you guys wanna see those videos, I'll link them down below. Without further ado, let's get into it. I'm excited to talk about this collection. All right, so this collection was successful launched on April 29th of this year and it is currently on the Louis Vuitton's YouTube so you guys can watch the 45 second brief showing each piece that they came out with and the colorway of each kind of purse. This bubblegum collection is very bright and it also has some neutrals to it so it's basically named after its burst of colors. It's got really cool bubble like curves in it. All of these purses are super unique looking and very trendy. I don't know if I'm butchering the name or not but this collection is celebrating Mason's Souvoir Fair with a new quilted monogram and it's very uh, much so an animated collection. This collection is really truly unlike anything that I've previously seen in the past from Louis Vuitton so it's really cool that they're kind of distinguishing new launches and they're not like being super repetitive with certain launches. There are fur pur fur. <laughs> Oh gosh, there are four purses that just launched in this whole collection and they're all gonna be very bouncy They have like a cloud like effect. They're just very fun again I would consider this whole collection very trendy and something that is not gonna feel like it's like gonna be here for a long time I feel like that though if this collection does go super well that they are gonna bring these bubblegum kind of vibes back in different colors and different colorways because I feel like this collection is really like a hit or a miss I didn't like it at first. I'm not gonna lie and I saw it in person at my Louis Vuitton, which is in Tampa Bay, and I was like, okay, I think I could vibe with this. I'm still kind of on edge, so I gotta figure out my official thoughts. And a really cool kind of part about this collection is that they're distinguishing the bags with new chains and also new straps. So I think that's really cool. The straps say different things than previous like pochette straps and also the chains are really nice and thick and like heavy, heavy duty, they're good. All right, so let's talk about the different four bags that have just come out. So first of all, we have the Alma BB. I love the Alma so much. It is such a classic bag for Louis Vuitton and it is beautiful. So this is gonna be made from quilted calfskin and it's embroidered with the monogram motif, which is going to be kind of the descendant of the Art Deco from the 1930s. So the Alma BB is gonna come in black, banana, and also blue glacier. I really thought that it also came in the dragon fruit color, which I just picked up in a few videos back. Maybe they're just sold out online or maybe they really did only come out with it in the black, blue, and yellow. So all of these bags in this collection are gonna be with gold hardware, which I personally love so much. And the Alma BB is gonna come with a nylon strap and two handles to hold the bag. Next up, we're gonna move on to the Over the Moon bag, which is my personal favorite bag in this collection because I really have not seen anything like it and it really just sparks my interest, the shape of this bag and kind of the vibe of it. The Over the Moon bag is gonna come in five colors. So you have black, blue glacier, dragon fruit, which I have in the Alma BB and I love, snow, which is the white color, and also banana. So with the Over the Moon bag, you can carry it as a short shoulder, a crossbody, a long shoulder, or an elbow purse. Or you could literally carry it without either of the straps and have it as like an evening clutch is what they're kind of promoting it for. I think it's really cool how a lot of these bags that are coming out now are very versatile. The next bag we have is the Papillion BB. I just recently picked up two of these Papillions. It was my first kind of purchase of this sort of style of purse. So yeah, I'm very new to this purse and the style. It looks like right now the Papillion BB is only gonna come in black, dragon fruit, and snow. This could change in the future, but right now it is only gonna be in those three colors. The Papillion BB is a very cute and small purse. I do really enjoy the silhouette of this purse. It is going to be someone for, who prefers to carry something a bit smaller and a bit more quaint. It is a different shaped bag. Like it's kind of hard to open in the original just like leather canvas. So yeah. I don't mean leather canvas, I just mean kind of like just leathering bag. And they, I think they also have it in canvas too. But don't come at me if I'm wrong, I'm just giving my thoughts and opinions. And this bag also comes with a removable nylon strap and it also is going to have the gold chain. And last but not least, we have the wallet on strap style. And this is probably my least favorite style that came out in this collection. And it looks like right now it's only gonna come in the black and also the blue glacier color. For me personally, it's just a style that I don't think I would ever buy from Louis Vuitton. I'm just not really the biggest fan of it. It's a little 
little small for me and I'd prefer more of a purse kind of silhouette versus a wallet flap. But this collection is great because you really do have four purses that are unique to different people and that you can really pick which purse you like with the whole bubblegum quilted print. All right, so now I'm gonna give my personal opinions on this whole collection. When I first saw it, I was taken back that there was a new collection that just launched as soon as the Spring in the City collection also launched. I feel like this is really a trendy bag that goes more towards people who are in that, not era, but people who want a trendy collection. And although anything from Louis Vuitton is gonna be a timeless piece, this is just like the bubble gram, the part of it, I don't know, I just feel like it's very trendy. And I wouldn't say this is necessarily a collection that's gonna fancy everybody because at first I wasn't really into it and I had to see it in person to really get my full thoughts. And honestly, I would continue to say that I'm not fully in love with this collection, but I do think it's fun and it's different for Louis Vuitton. Moving on to the bag that I picked up. <laughs> Yeah, I did pick one up just so I could show you guys and also I'm, I'm probably gonna end up keeping it if I don't want it. My mom really likes this purse so she can have it. But I wanted to give you guys kind of the full view. Okay, so I have unboxed the bubblegum bag and of course this is the over the moon style. This was definitely the one that called my name the most out of any of the styles. Although the Alma BB would be my second runner up. I really love it in the black. I also forgot to mention that all these bags are gonna be a smooth calf leather. So keep in mind that these are all gonna be leather. It's an authentic and beautiful. Smell. All right, so here's an up close of the over the moon bag with the LB in the middle and then you have the blossoms around it. It's really nice and it doesn't, you know, say anything too loud when looking at the bag. And then moving on to this side, here's what this one looks like. It is replicated on both sides, looking the same with the big LV and then you have four of the blossoms around it. Here is the strap, you guys. This strap is nice and heavy. It is a really great hardware. It's something that is, I guess, like a newer kind of feeling I'm feeling right here. It just feels like really nice and heavy and expensive. And right now I do have the nylon strap on it, which I'm gonna show you guys a close up because a lot of the straps just say Louis Vuitton on them. This one says Paris, which I think is super fun. And I love that. So here is a close up of the Paris and then it's going to go and say, Louis right there and then it's gonna say the ton. I just really love that it says Paris for some reason. I don't know. I'm into it The inside of this bag is super roomy and tons of stuff can actually fit in this You've got one pocket back here and it's kind of hard to see but the inside actually does have the Louis Vuitton blossom print all in it You have to have like the lighting to be able to see it, but I can definitely see it This bag would totally fit so much stuff in it. I can guarantee you that so here's one of my favorite ways to wear the bag right now and how to style it I really love keeping the chain on it and letting it dangle I really love gold with white it's impeccable and I really love keeping the nylon strap on it too you can wear this over the body like a little cross body okay so here is it over the body like this yes this is an actual top not a bra and then of course you can put it on your shoulder like this so the nylon strap and the chain are both removable so you can take the nylon strap off and have this as a shoulder bag or literally just carry it and you can also take the chain off and carry it like this as just a little clutch. So yeah, this is the bag. I don't have any white bags really in my collection besides one or two, but especially not from Louis Vuitton. So this is my first white Louis Vuitton bag. And I do like it. It's growing on me. It's nice and simple. The actual bag itself is very lightweight, so that's really nice. And then even with the chain, it's still gonna, you know, add a little bit because the chain is really nice and heavy, really great hardware, but it's still not gonna be super heavy. Because this bag is gonna be that soft calf leather, it is going to be a really nice and light bag. I also really love the smooth edge on the bottom. I think it maybe have been cool if it would have said like Louis Vuitton Paris, kind of like the strap did, but I don't know, maybe not. I am growing on this bag. I do think I like it. Like most Louis Vuitton collections, at first I'm like obsessed and stuff, so this collection is taking me a minute. And it's not that I don't like it, it's just that it's a little different for me to experience. And it's going to be the, you know, all leather bag. And also the bubble gram is a little interesting to me, but this bag is just like so cool and so trendy. And I feel like it's gonna go with so many outfits. And I love how it's not too loud with Louis Vuitton. Like, you know, if you saw this bag from afar, you wouldn't really know it's Louis Vuitton. And that's why I really like it as well. It's a great bag. I'm really obsessed with it now. This shape is just so unique and so beautiful. I really wish it would come in more colors. I think that'd be super fun. I don't know what colors I would necessarily choose, but obsessed, obsessed. The more I look at this collection and learn about it, the more I do like it. And I really love the backstory behind it and how they really took a vision and created it. Let me know your favorite bag in this collection, if any, and what you think about this collection, if you like it or not, or if you're gonna invest in a piece or not invest in a piece. I'm always so curious of hearing everyone's thoughts. 
As always, I have so many other videos coming up very soon, which I'm so excited about. And if you guys want to see all of my previous designer slash luxury videos, I will link them down below. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell and share this video with a friend if you enjoyed it. I also have my Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest up on the screen for you guys to follow. Okay, my quote of the day is, you deserve the kind of love that doesn't make you question if you're lovable. No one should ever, friendship, relationship, family, whatever it is, should make you question if you're lovable or not because everyone is lovable on this earth and first of all, we're all loved and valued by God, but we shouldn't ever feel like we're not lovable by someone and if someone's making you feel that way, get away immediately because we're such beautiful people and for us to ever feel like we can't be loved is not something I wish on my worst enemy we're all loved so valued and I love you if you don't think anyone else loves you I love you and so does God so I'm here for you I love you be sure to reach out to me on Instagram if you guys ever need anyone to talk to and I'll see you guys in my very next video Mwah. peace